Alright guys, I'm back. Um, so, I found another sock while uh, exploring and it's actually down the slide. So what you want to do is when you're coming at, like around this part, you just jump off to this like part of the slide. And you just jump and then it should be right here. That's where I found it. I didn't know it was there. That's why it's not there. <laughs> But that is where it should be if you haven't found it there. Just wanted to show that because I figured that is really important. And uh, I did find a couple of bus stops, but since I was forced to uh, come back here at Spin Bump, got to get another uh, stop. So don't worry, I know where the nearest one is. I'll just pick it and then just come right back unless is there I forget is there a bus stop at like the hub world cuz if there is and I'm just being an idiot and I just wasted all that time for nothing <laughs> I mean I did find a couple socks along the way and then the sponge bowl too and then I found out that apparently there's another ability I thought the sponge bowl was the last one but I guess not I guess there's a cruise bubble, whatever that is. Is there a place tell me there's a bus stop here? Hey there, Up for a game of SpongeBob? I don't see no bus stop here. No. Don't tell me don't tell me it's so. Don't tell me it ain't so. Damn, I really thought there was a bus stop here. I mean, I would have thought. Alright, well, back to finding the bus stop over there, so. Just give me a minute. Back. So. Let's get the sock then. Oh, look at all this that I froze. How many of these do I have to carry? Oh, goody, another one. So, I'm hoping getting over here will be able to give me- Oh. Wow. Uh, oh my god, I don't even know what to say about that one. <clears throat> well, at least we got the sock, that's all that matters. You broke my rhythm? Now I'm gonna break something of yours! Alright, let's head back to Bikini Bottom. Like a spin bomb, which makes sense since seeing Patrick is here, and well, I have to see Patrick ah, play the game. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home! Here's your golden. Spe I don't speak it out. Alright, nice. So now we got 30. Wow. We're getting there. We're getting there. Through the We're getting pretty far into the game now. Now that we got that, and I think there is nothing worth of interest. Oh, yeah. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like oh. victory. Oh. I don't think there's anything uh, at Goo Lagoon. Oh wait, there is. Damn it. You know, what? I'll just. I think I'll just wait and go back for those like later or something hey look it's shady shoals 
where Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy live. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Well, well, I already know how to bubble bowl, so thank you for that, uh, bubble buddy. I love opening presents. Alright, so 40 over here, but look at that. We got the crust chum bucket, crusty crab, um, the reef theater. That's cool. We got rock bottom, the bikini bottom police department, sand, sand mountain. No way. Is that really on here? Oh uh, yeah, Sand Mountain. Let's see what Mr. Krause wants. So, do you want to trade shiny? That's quality. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we got thirty-one spatula golden spatulas. All right. Um. So rock bottom is twenty-five. Sand Mountain is 30 and over there is 40 so honestly we go to rock bottom first what's going on over here oh oh great platforming Oh, that one's gonna be a little challenging just because yeah you yeah, basically have to time it right. Uh, there we go. Alright, so now that we got that So let's see Shady Shoals or the Tree Dome? Let's go to the Tree Dome. Say hi to our friend Sandy. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. <laughs> Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. How's it, how's it my mess? Just my size. Water would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised can fight, considering how there's no water here. I feel like a new sponge! Oh. Take that! Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, he looks so weird when he's like... Stop your dying because of lack of water. Oh my god. Oh, I should destroy this first. That way no more can spawn. And I'm gonna die again. What the f Wow. Fresh like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. Tartar sauce. It. All right, then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. <laughs> so surprised he ain't dead. Wait, that's it. You're not gonna give me like a helmet or Hey 
Hey, I didn't even notice Patrick was here. Why is Patrick just chilling there? That's um... It's pretty creepy actually. Just doing there, buddy. Okay, I guess there's no going in there. So is that it? It was just for that ch challenge? Well, I mean, I guess. Nothing I can help you with, Sandy. Well, I guess that was it for the tree dome. <laughs> Is Patrick still here? No, he's not. He just straight up left. Alright, well... Wow. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Let's go Smells shitty like shows now. Victory. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermalair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely fine. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermalair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? You know, I, want, I wonder if the Barnacle Boy voice actor is presents. the same. I mean, he sounds the same as the one from the TV, but I could be wrong. This is a Bikini Bottom News update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your <laughs> regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! What the hell? So that's how you enter the mermaid layer. Can't believe they actually have their layer built underneath the retirement home that they stay at. Makes me wonder, like, because I'm pretty sure the layer has been there since you know when they first started being heroes. But did they just build it underneath the? Did they just choose to build it underneath the retirement home just because they knew one day they would get old and it'd be convenient to have it there or did they just happen to build or did yeah like did the retirement home just happen to like be built on top of it? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, 
I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! <laughs> wow. This is the moment. Very reminiscent of, a, of the back cave. It's not just a. Alright. Fresh like a spring breeze. Wow. Oh, wow, they actually use like a regular sponge. Alright, so those. This robot is named Arf. He's a bubble to do shit in. So he basically sends out robots that are just like suicide bomb or what? Just sent all of them to like their grave. Oh, I see. There's no way I can hit that from here. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Uh, the bubble ball really makes life easier. So, did I destroy him? Doesn't look like it. Damn, he takes three hits. Okay, I see a bungee cord or a bungee hook. You know what that means? Death. That's what that means. <laughs> Hammer, get it. All right. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Almost there. There you go, that's exactly what I want. The ultimate wedgie experience! Boy, Patrick will be glad yeah, to have you this said man. it. I don't know how... I don't know how you can, you know... Like... Do that Here and not do it like... Not have like a very... I don't know how how to say it, but you know what I mean, like the feeling you get when you get a wedgie. How much that would hurt. 